Let's talk about the Lakers and one of their young players. Yeah. The Lakers and Kyle Kuzma agreed on a three-year, $40 million extension yesterday. The deal includes a player option before the 2023-24 season, and the deal allows Kuzma to become an unrestricted free agent in his prime at 28 years old. LeBron reacted to the news with this tweet, Kuz, congrats, bro. Next dinner on you for sure. Vino Chronicles. Amin, was this extension a good move for the defending champs? It's a great move, and it's a great move for Kyle Kuzma as well. From the Lakers' perspective, you've got a, a young player who's developing, who was a contributing factor last year but dealt with some injuries. You got him at a very cost-efficient contract, $40 million over three years, and obviously that last one is a player option. So for the next two years after this one, they've got Kuzma, who they expect to grow and continue to be a contributor. From Kuzma's standpoint, he gets some financial security right now. Remember, he was a low first-round pick, so it's not like his rookie scale deal was millions and millions and millions of dollars. So he's got some security, but here's the better part. Because of the NBA rules surrounding trades with a guy who's agreed to a rookie extension, the poison pill rule basically makes it so that the Lakers are almost impossible or impro highly improbable to trade him this year. So Kuzma gets to opt out after two years and say, hey, maybe I played for two NBA championships after this second year here. It gives him more value in the trade market. It gives him more value on the free agency market in a couple of years. So I think everybody won with this one. Yeah, I think this is a win-win for everybody. Uh, you know, you get a guy with that many skills, that much talent in that package with that team, I think it's great to lock him up because you got a guy who's 6'8", can guard multiple people. He's got multiple skill sets on the offensive end. And I'm going to tell you what, he's going. the Lakers are going to see his value, and this is why. We already know LeBron and AD. Right. Mark Gasol is going to make Kuzma look awesome. So good. He's hey, going to spread the floor. He's going to catch him on back cuts. He's going to get him open shots. And now all of a sudden, we're going to see a different kind of Kuzma because he's going to be receiving from different people, and he doesn't have to go hunting for a shot or trying to do stuff to show people how good he is because he's going to be getting such easy baskets. Well, to your point, if you look at his shot chart, Kuzma, a lot of it is cuts to the basket, and yep. a lot of it is threes. So when you have a guy like Marcus Gasol working from the high post, those, those oh. cuts to the basket will be fantastic. I remember talking to Nick Nurse about that and how he really unlocked their offense a couple of years ago Absolutely. with the ability that he has at the high post. But with Kuzma, to your point, he's actually become a much better defender. That was a deficiency early in his career. That is not the case anymore. They look at him as a big wing at 6'9 yes. that can guard multiple positions. And I had the Lakers game on Friday in Phoenix, and Frank Vogel told us, that Kuz actually asks for the best assignment, like to guard it. the best offensive player on the other team. Like he has really grown in that regard. Well, that's the that's the slice of pie that he can get into because right now you're not going to be the leading scorer or the second leading scorer. So how do you help the Lakers win another championship? And if he continues to grow defensively, that's just going to make them stronger. And you got a coach like Frank Vogel who's going to continue to develop them in that area. I mean, real quick, let me ask you. You mentioned the the contract status and the poison pill and whatnot. Because it is a manageable contract. I mean, they if they wanted to, not that I'm saying the Lakers will try to trade Kyle Kuzma, but in year two, they could potentially trade him, right? Or no? Yeah, so after this year, once the contract actually kicks in, because this year he's still making his rookie scale. Right. The next season, that's when his contract kicks in. That's when they could trade him. But to be honest with you, again, that would be maximum value because we're assuming that he's going to be a big part of another championship run here. Mm -hmm. At that point, you're talking about Kyle Kuzma, maybe a two-time NBA champion and has shown us some things as a healthy player that can get them a lot more value than where they to trade them right now. But even without that, it's so hard with that poison pill uh, provision. I think Bobby Marks on Twitter, I saw him say, it's never been done. That's how hard it is. Uh, it makes it really hard to make those numbers work with that poison pill in effect. All right, let's do Oprah here. You get a contract. You get a contract. <laughs> Everybody get a contract. Let's talk about Rudy Gobert's contract here. I love it. Agreed to a five-year, $205 million extension. Gobert was eligible for the full $228 million Supermax extension, but told ESPN's Bam McMahon that he did not request the full Supermax because he wanted the Jazz to have some flexibility to continue building around him and Donovan Mitchell. Gobert's deal is the largest in NBA history for a center. So, I mean, using your front office experience and expertise, what do you make of this contract? 
Yeah, I saw a lot of people kind of questioning that Rudy Gobert would have such a big deal, and I, I don't understand it. I think this is a perfect deal for Utah for two reasons. One that everyone has talked about, it's Utah. Free agents don't come very easily. You got to give up stuff to trade, and to draft and find the diamond in the rough, that's kind of hard. That's what they did with Rudy Gobert. Right? So that's one thing. But I don't think that's the biggest reason. The biggest reason is he is a perfect complement to Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, an explosive offensive talent who can create for himself and others, but defensively needs a little help. Rudy Gobert, an elite defensive anchor, but offensively needs someone to create some of those easy dunks and layups for him. So together, they make a great complement. And that's why I'm, I'm glad to see that Utah has got them both under contract for five years after this one, because here's the reality. If it wasn't Donovan Mitchell as the other player, if it were, let's say, the other player were Kawhi Leonard, I would value this deal a lot worse because Kawhi doesn't really need a Rudy Gobert while Rudy does need a Kawhi. But in this case, the offensive talent of Donovan, the defensive talent of Rudy, perfect fit, perfect match. I love this deal for them. Yeah, this is great bookends. You got, you got your guard position solidified. You got your center position solidified. And let's be real about it. This guy's a defensive player of the year candidate every single year. Rim roller, high, high lob catcher. He's a guy that puts pressure on you with the offensive glass. I, I continue to see him grow in bits and pieces offensively, adding little things to his game, little parts to his game. He's still a young man, and he's going to be able to grow some more. And Donovan Mitchell, we already know, he's a flat-out beast. So now it's just continuing to try to fill those pieces around him, get some hits in the draft, Still some guys in free agency, and you got a team that you can really continue to build on in Utah, which I thought, I think up to this point, they've done a heck of a job with what they have. Yeah, and don't forget, they Absolutely. get Bojan Bogdanovic back this season healthy, right? And that, that was supposed to be a key piece to what they were trying to do last game. year. Right. 18 a game. So, and, and he's a guy that's not afraid to take the big shot, uh, much like Donovan Mitchell. So then they have two guys uh, effectively in those situations. And the more shooting you put on the floor with Gobert, the right. tougher it is to take away those lobs. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.